welcome folks back out on the uh, beach and uh, under the igloo it's raining it's horrible it's cloudy it's windy but I'm flounder fishing and that's what I want to do get out and do a bit of floundering there's not much else going on so why not down at the River Ada I, went, I was gonna go to my normal mark but there is so much water coming down that would be fresh water coming down the hills and into the river that I've probably got more chance of catching a carp or something like that than I have a flounder. So I've come further down towards the harbour entrance and hoping that I may bag a flounder. Looking at the water now, there's still quite a bit of a runoff now, so I'm assuming that the fresh water is stronger than the incoming tide at the moment, but the rods are out. I'm just going to see what happens and let's go from there. Let me pan you around so you can see what's what. So there we go, that's where I am, waiting for the tide to come up. I don't know if you can see that in the distance there, the, uh, the water, the way it's flooding, it's flooding out at the moment, but it should be flooding in. As I said, it's, uh, the fresh water seems to be stronger than the incoming tide at the moment, but that will change. And hopefully I will bag up a flounder or two. A bit of luck. Just pan you around. And it's also our club flounder comp, so uh, it would be nice to catch a flounder, it really would. And uh, let's see what happens, eh? I've got the rod tips low, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of a wind coming over. And rig wise, I am using a two hook clip down, but there's, I've not clipped them down because there's just no point. It's just a gentle flick and it's in there. And uh, yeah, it's going to see what happens. I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit rocky here. There's quite a bit of rock on the foreshore here. So I'm hoping it's cleaner ground in the channel, but I don't know, so I may get snagged up. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll bring you some action. So real wise, I'm just using my uh, little Shakespeare reels, little Shakespeare surfs, surf 70s. And uh, rod wise, using my Tronic Pros, Exxons, probably a little bit heavy for these really, for this sort of work. Um, it would be a nice, so I have a nice little estuary rod for this, sort of 11 foot estuary rod would be perfect here. Might invest in a couple of those maybe. Um, and uh, sunshine in the distance, which is very nice. <clears throat> just had one bite so far, quite a decent bite actually, but I'm suspecting it's a little bass to be honest with you. The bait was stripped off, but the signs of life, and I like signs of life. The tide is just starting to push forward now, I can see that it's now turned. So hopefully this is it. And note to self, make sure I get some pegs for the uh, igloo. I normally go on the beach, so uh, I don't normally use pegs, but uh, yeah, I'm finding out that's a little bit difficult today. So I'm trying to hold it down as best I can. But we'll soon see. Hopefully I won't lose it uh, in the river. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this. I'm really enjoying this first trip out as well. Well, with the way the tide is at the moment, it's really flying through and I'm up on an embankment and the, obviously the water's quite down and the angle of the tack I think with a two hook clip down is just too much of an angle and I think that the hooks are probably up in the air too much and I want them right on the, on the sort of uh, sea bed. So I've gone for a running ledger using a Termalink as my running ledger, a couple of beads hanging it off and I'm just using a small trace with a flyer on it and I'm saying it's probably about a, f a foot, I'm going to give it about a foot and that should nail it right to the bottom you know, close as I can get it to the uh, the seabed, and hopefully that might pick up the flounders. I've just got no faith in that other rig at the moment, and I don't want to miss my opportunity here at the at present. So I'm going to reel in and get it changed over. You got to reel in quite fast because there's quite a few rocks down there as well. So, and 
and uh, you just as you get it towards the rocks, you've just got to flick it up over the rocks and onto the mud here in front of me. <coughs> so if you think that you know, I'm right up at this sort of angle and the weight is on the seabed, there's quite a portion of that could be up in the air, you know, maybe two or three foot. Well, there's the rig. It's, it's, the rig's probably two and a half foot. So, yeah, it could be the case of that. So, it's a quick changeover. And I'll sort that out in a minute. Get my uh, rig on. And we'll get it away. I didn't unclick the... Uh, you know, weight off the uh, other rig, so let's just do that quickly. And it's nice and muddy as well, so that's nice. I'm sorry if you can hear me breathing heavily. It's, uh, it's damn cold. And there's lots of it going around, as everyone's probably aware. So I've got some lovely ragworm here all sorts of uh, small sizes so I'm going to put a several on, a, on each hook to really boost my chances I have no other bait than rag All baited up, lovely. Let's get it out there, eh? <coughs> and it literally is a gentle flick out there, it really is. This That's it. Done. So I've not blanked. I've got myself a little pin white in, and that is small. But there we go. Slightly up the river a little bit, and we're at a pin white in. But anyway, let's get it back. As we all know, they don't last too long, the old pin white in. So anyway, it's not a blank. It's not a blank. Well, I've got another bite, but on the right hand rod now, and it's. Uh, not the biggest of bites, to be fair. And it was more of a rattle than a, look, a flounder looking bite, to be fair. So I'm thinking maybe another whiting, pin whiting. Um, but who knows. But the sun has come out, it's gorgeous now. I really did think it was going to be a bit of a, a rainy day today, but we're, we're doing all right. And uh, I. Hopefully be showing you a flounder in a bit. Let's see what happens, eh? Well, I wondered when they were going to turn up. And there they are, look. One small bass, and that is a small one. But nice to see it all the same. So, uh, yeah. I thought we'd have had a few more of those. But just the one so far. Anyway, let's get it back. Still, that a flounder. Still not showing up. Is it going to be one of those sessions?
Well, both dogs are going now, but they're only small bites. The real luck, no doubt, my big dog. Get it back. Fight another day. Right, I'm gonna need a scorpion for this one because it's a little bit hooked down. Further than I need it to be. That's it folks, I'm on my last cast. I'm not expecting anything too much, it's just been whiting, whiting and more whiting and the odd one bass. Uh Nope, want to be on the flounder, but hey ho, that's the way it goes, isn't it? But it's just nice to be out. Um, it's about an hour down on the, from the high now. Uh, I'm just going to keep fishing on the one rod. Uh, I say, last one out. And uh, yeah, I don't expect too much to change, but if it does, I'll show you it. But that's me done. Tight lines, everyone. Hope you get a chance to get out yourself. And uh, let us know how you get on if you do. Always, always interested to know what other people are catching and where they're catching it. So, uh, tight lines everyone. Don't forget, give us the old thumbs up if you like. And uh, all importantly, if you haven't subscribed, then I always appreciate a, a tap on the old subscription button. Absolutely free. And what's free in this life? Not a lot. Anyway, see you later.